To read the contents of this Motorola, I'm using my Orange 5 tool. I have to solder the processor to this adapter plate. I'm using a small vise to fix the adapter plate in here. Something like this. Now I can solder this guy in here. All right. This is done. And go to the software. Here in the program I have to select the correct processor first. It's a 908 AZ. 60A, this one. Now, here you can see this processor have more than one programmable area. The EEPROM is common, you know, but it has three flashes and the flash V and some control re registers. What I have completely forgot to say, this processor here are readout protected and the Orange 5 can hack this protection. What is nice, but other tools can do this also. It's not a new thing, but it's necessary to get the contents. Let's try to read out first without disabling the readout protection. Let's try to read, this is a small flash here, without disabling the readout protection. As you can see, you only get AD, AD, AD. This is not correct. Now, let's find, or let's hack the readout protection. It's called security bits and the Orange 5 makes it brute force. So it tries every possible combination. Let's do this now. Here click in the corner of SEC. Here. These are only uh, all known security bits. Let's try test the list. If something on the list works for this. Uh huh. I have luck. Okay, okay, now let's read this again. <laughs> now you get FF because it's empty but it's different from before. So now let's read all areas here starting with the EEPROM. Read it and save all the contents. That was the EEPROM, now read EE1DIFF, it's only 4 bits, empty, but save it anyways. Now EE2DIFF, also only 4 bits, also empty, save it. Now the flash, this is the biggest one, read, this takes some time, I will post the filming because it's not interesting, you can only see the bar is going to full, so moment please. Yeah, that worked, 
all the contents are here beautiful save it flash now the next one flash 2 it's a small one nothing here flash 2 next one flash 3 also a small one nothing here next one flash HV don't know what it is here's something save it that's all perfect that seemed to be worked now here they are here I have new processors, new Motorola's, fresh out from the pack, still sealed. Crack open this now and solder the new processor to this adapter board and program the rated contents. I'm happy that these Motorola's are still available because this is real old school stuff. I mean it's obsolete since years. Haha. <laughs> nice and shiny new. Now The original one. Here we go. cleaning up a little bit Alright, I'm ready to program this new MCU now, this new Motorola, fresh out of the pack. Something very, very important. Take care in which order you program the new processor. Because the configuration and the security, the security is in the flash area, this here. Program this at very last. Do all the other things before, otherwise some areas here are read protected and you cannot program again after you have programmed the flash first. So, do the flash at last. 
and also the new processor security is unlocked. Now we have read out the old processor with the locked uh, content. We have found the security bits here. And the new processor doesn't have the security bits. They will be programmed in the flash area. They are here in this content. So when you program a new processor, first make it unlock again, you will see the security bits are empty. When you try to program it with the old security bits from the processor that you have read before, it will not work. Now, program the EEPROM first, which I am doing now. Right, let's see. This should work. Yes. So, wait until this is finished. Okay, that's fine. Now the next EE1 diff, which is empty. Just to compare, make a compare. Empty. EE2 diff is empty as well. Yes. Now we skip the flash, as I said. Now program flash 2. But flash 2 is also empty, as I remember. Yes. Compare. Flash 3. Also empty, I guess. Yes. Oh, sorry. So pr program the flash V, at least. I do it, open it again only to be sure. Write this. Okay. Compare. Compare. Okay. Now let's program the last one, the flash. After this, all is ready. Now it writes. This takes a long time, about 20 minutes I guess. So let this work for a while and then I come back. Almost finished. Yeah, finished. Compare. This takes also a long time. Moment. Compare is all okay. Fine. Now this processor is ready to install to my broken module. 